The moments after that verdict was read, an outpouring of emotion inside the courtroom from Zimmerman's family and, of course, outside the court from supporters of Trayvon Martin's family. ABC's Gio Benita is on the demonstration still unfolding tonight, and Gio is live in Florida as well for us. Gio, good evening. Good evening to you, David. Trayvon Martin supporters have been calling for nationwide protests, and as you're about to see, that's exactly what happened. From coast to coast, major cities saw anger over the Zimmerman verdict spilling into the streets. In Oakland, California, police say up to 100 demonstrators caused minor damage, but protests by and large were peaceful everywhere. In San Francisco, 200 people on the march. In Chicago, signs reading, we are all Trayvon. People still gathering there earlier today. I thank you for waking us up this morning, God. And here in Sanford, in the midst of Trayvon supporters shocked by the jury's decision, a church service urging peace. Because violence on violence doesn't solve anything. It only promotes hatred. Overnight at the courthouse, we met a woman who drove for five hours to be here. You drove all the way from Georgia. Yes. Just for this. I couldn't imagine being that family right now. I just thought we were going to get some kind of justice. Zimmerman sympathizers have largely supported him in secret, donating money to his defense fund. Even so, some showed up here at the courthouse to speak their mind. I believe he's a, a patriot that uh, is loyal to his neighborhood, and he uh, was uh, had every right to uh, self-defense. And in New York's Times Square, voices siding with the legal system. The jurors say he's not guilty, so he's not guilty. And even with all those protests across the country, David, here in Sanford, no arrests.